setting up the Game Jolt API in your game. Download the Fusion 2.5 Game Jolt API plugin from here. Extract it, and then load the MFA file in Fusion 2.5. You may need to download the String Parser plugin. Click on Extensions and download it here from ClickTeam's official plugin list. Go to the Examples frame. This will be the frame you base your high score screen off of in your actual game, or any other part of the game that requires anything Game Jolt related. Just move the stuff that you don't need off to the side where it won't interfere. The only things you need to configure are in the Game Jolt API item here. Select it and go to its values properties down here, linking it up with your game on Game Jolt. Obviously, first you need to make a game profile on the site. Once you have, go to its profile, click on Game API and down to API Settings, which is where you'll find the Game ID and Private ID. Back to this screen, you need the Game ID, the Table ID and Game Key. Obviously, you put your Games ID in the Game ID setting and your Private Key in the Game Key option. The last thing you need is a Table ID. A game can have as many different high scores as you'd like. Go back to the Game Jolt site and click on Scores. You'll find every high score table and every Table ID in your game here. And with that, you've got all three values you need. Testing it. Let's see if you can submit a high score to your game. You first need to log into your Game Jolt profile within your game. You need your username and token, both of which can be found on your Game Jolt profile. The username will be your username on the site, and your token can be found by clicking on the person up here and by choosing Game Token. Don't share this with anybody. You'll probably get an error, meaning that you haven't configured it properly. Go back and do this the whole video again. It's always easier a second time. But once you do successfully log in, Click Add Score and hopefully it will add a random number between 1 and 10,000 to the high score, but you won't see this until you click Fetch Scores. Well done, you're ready to configure all this for your game. What now? By default, it just submits a random number to the high score screen. Go to the Example Frames events and to Add Score Example. You can see it's setting a random score here. Simply replace this with however the player's high score is calculated in your game, and instead of a random number, it will submit that number to the high score table on Game Jolt. And lastly, on the Game Jolt site, you can adjust the high score properties here. You can set it to rank from highest to lowest scores, or vice versa. It can enable guest scoring so people don't even have to log into Game Jolt to submit a high score, and can disable unique scores, which then shows every person's high score and not just their best. I hope this helps you. Thanks so much to Uppernate for creating this excellent plugin in the first place. I used an early version of it last year for my game, Destruction Darius, and were it not for his work, I wouldn't have managed to get it working. Ever. I'm not good at configuring these things, but with this guide and his example, you too should be able to get there in a matter of minutes. Have fun. High score has been submitted.